All right, as far as this time, we're not going to copyright strike ourselves. <clears throat> Even though I do have a Western stuck in my head. So this, step back from the shop. Um, as of this point, I have opened, in my head canonically, I have opened the uh, bundle. So this will be the second product I'm engaging with. And it's the Commander decks. Time for some yees and some haws. Okay, it's these boxes. Mm -hmm. Not gonna hum a song that's going to give me a copyright strike. <clears throat> We're gonna start off with most wanted. Mardu. Crime always pays. That's funny. Alright. Let's see. I had to pause the video for a second. And it stopped. Take a bite into crime. Alright kids, it's only 10% western. It's... Oh, she's a vampire. Okay. Um. Okay. Weird. Adhesive tape sticker thingy. Alright, it's just generic. Um. Just her and the blood on the thing. Oh, they changed the shape. They're flatter now. They're squat instead of tall. Huh. Just plus one, plus ones. Oh, shit. It's a full art now. Hot damn. Neat. Yeah, let's see what a pinup looks like. Ooh, tearing the pinup, tearing the pinup. Tells you how to play the deck. I'm not reading it. It's for nerds. Oh no. I'm 21. Oh no. There's no more cardboard cutout. Oh, that's interesting. You get a cool full art foil now, which is neat. Here's our backup commander. He lands intervention. Is that the original art? Cause they started doing all new art. Mask or girl. So I don't know. Because Ixalan had all new art. Curtain's Call, Fortune Teller. I'll have to take a look later and see if this is new art or not. That is not. Back in town, nice. Yeah, that wrinkle isn't either. Dead before summer is. Grey Waters Fixer. Now 
Nice, another copy of the Academy Manufacturer. I needed another one for the Hobbit food deck. Some temples, like Orchard, Temple, Clifton, Isolated Bonders. This will admire. E lightning greaves. Oh, hey, that's all ring looks new. It is new. It had a Thunder Junction quote. Uh, tokens. Oh, I have bounties. All right, wanted for the game. Shuffle these six unique bounty cards in a pile face down. That's weird. I'll have to. Was there like six bounties at the end, or? I'll have to look up that mechanic. Bounty. That's weird. Say anything about bounties here? Hmm. I'll have to look this bounty now and soon. Oh. Alright. Until then. A minute and a half until we run out of hard drive space. On my phone. Buried in the garden. And insatiable avarice. Neat. These are both foils. All right, let's get this totaled up, done up, and I'll let you guys know how it played. All right, so most wanted deck. I'm gonna be frank with you guys. This is my favorite of the three or four that wasn't a Steal Your Girl deck. Ganti is really fun and works really well if you're going against stuff that's really fun and works really well with Ganti. Um, but this one is this one I like the best because it's my home. I have a Negan deck that has a lot of this, like, even has the Academy Manufacturer in it, right? So, like, the whole, like, create a treasure token, get a food, and get a clue mechanic is really, you know, it, it's my home space. Um, if you want to try out the Negan deck, like, a, like a high-end tuned Negan Mardu deck, that, that commander, um, this deck does it poorly, but it's you know, a $50, 45 you know what I mean? It's a pre-con. So you could easily pick up the Negan Commander card, like the, the Universe Within one, or make it the Commander of this deck and go. And then just make her one of the 99. Or make Negan one of the 99. Um, but the Negan one to work properly requires Blink. So I don't necessarily know. You can tell I'm already getting into a really interesting deck tech with you guys, and I normally don't do that. Because this is actually my play space. And I kind of was like, am I just having fun with this because it's Mardu, right? Kind of like how Caesar was my favorite of the Fallout, but it was just Mardu sacrifice tokens nonsense. You know, Aristocrats Mardu. We're here, and then I'm like, can I tweak my Negan deck to include her? Right? Do I put her in my Negan? Do I make her the commander of a Negan? I mean, like, I started wondering if I could make it more outlaw, the Negan deck more outlaw focused, and then put her in there. Because my Negan deck has rogues. A lot of rogues. A couple of... I mean, like, well, it's like, it's like five rogues. But, like, not as many creatures as this deck has. And for her to work, you need a lot of creatures. Um, 
I just don't know if I'm going to keep this deck because they're so close in play space. They both have the Academy Manufacturer. Um, they both have, I think, Lannery Storms in both. Or at least there's another pirate. Um, I think Humble Defector? No, maybe not. Uh, I'm pretty sure Mari's in there. Massacre Girl is a hoot. So Massacre Girl, I'm probably going to include put into the Negan deck. Oh, that worked out really well. I do like how Morbid Opportunist is back. That's pretty funny. Um, <clears throat> this deck, though, does need some tweaking. Yep, they both have the Deadly Dispute. Um, the land cycle seems kind of, it's kind of weird. It needs some tweaking, but it's not the worst one. Uh, Reign of Riches, like a Revel of Riches would fit in this deck really well. <clears throat> or, uh, I think it's not, oh, that's right. Zyatora is juned. Um, you can't use Zyatora. Um, but yeah, like this deck is probably my favorite of the ones. And, but I'm just in a weird, because I have the Negan Mardu deck. I have a Zergo Helm Smasher, which is a different kind of Mardu. And then I am building a new Caesar Mardu. And then this lady, and I'd have four Mardu decks. <clears throat> and they have a lot of overlap. And I just don't know if I want to, I don't know, it's weird. Because I'm pretty sure this one could kick off really well. Because she's just treasures. She's treasures for creatures. Creatures for treasures. Like, it works out super well um, to have, like, a rogues gallery kind of one. So, I'm in a, a weird spot if I'm going to keep it or not. But I like it. On paper, I want to. But So, um, I would recommend this one for new player. How oh, it's hard. Because this one needs tweaking to be more effective against these ones in my pod, at least in my, my play groups. So I'm in. <clears throat> uh, or the landfall one also needs tweaking. The spell slinger one, people say it's good out of the box, but it's the one I've had the hardest time with. The only one I wouldn't really screw with is Gonti, but you should, because it'll be better. Um, yeah, like like this deck, I kind of want to put a. Because Prosper Tone Bound is a warlock, he counts as an outlaw. And you get some control, kind of, by exiling opponent's cards and playing them. Especially can you use the treasures just to play the... It's, oh, it's so good. It just needs a bit of tuning. Um, and to be honest, I haven't disassembled any of the decks from the set. And I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to upgrade them. Um, how? I don't know. And it'll be a project for down the line. But overall, I'm vibing with this. And I like it a lot. And with that, I thank you for watching and you have a good day.